guys and welcome back to another time with me. Today I am laying out the month of August and since Pride in Sweden is actually not in June, it's in August, I thought I'd do a little rainbow theme to kind of implement some pride into my bullet journal. So first off I am outlining the letters of August in the different colours of the rainbow and then I am filling them in with my tumble pen and since tumble pens are water based that means that you can blend them out like watercolours and that is what I'm doing right now. Then to make sure you can still see that it actually says August and it's not just water blobs, I filled in the letters one more time and yeah, I think it turned out great actually. Then I added these sparkles and dots to kind of make it look like glitter or confetti or something like that. Um, is falling down from the top of the page. Some might say that it's too much, but I think it's just enough. You can't have too much bright guys, at least not in this context. Then I went in with my glitter jelly rolls and added some extra dazzle. Moving on to my monthly layout, this one was kind of a hassle to make, you'll see why. This pattern made it very frustrating, <laughs> but I think that it turned out really well and my idea worked. So what I'm doing is I'm giving every day its own box in a color of the rainbow and then I am blending out the color inward to fill the box with colour as well but a more watered down version and honestly I didn't think it would work this well but it turns out great and exactly as I would hoped. If you do this you have to be careful to wait until it's completely dried before you do something else with the paper or the ink will just be the right through to the next page. I think I could have waited a little longer before I started writing on it, but not to worry. Then I'm adding my to-do list as usual and since I had the entire rainbow to choose from this time, I of course made it purple because purple is the best colour of all the colours. Not to judge any other colours, but purple is the best. Here I lost some footage, but I basically just wrote out August again and added the same sparkles as in my cover page, but in a border around the page this time. On to my habit tracker. This time I decided to make individual trackers as I did in May, I think. And honestly, it takes such a long time to make and some of them ended up a little wonky. But I mean, if they work, then it's all fine by me. So I wrote out habit tracker and then I added a border in a different colour for each box and of course I added numbers of the days. I think I've made better looking habit trackers but honestly it's kind of cute, they're cute. I've been really out of it with my habit tracking lately and I was hoping making individual trackers would make it easier to keep up with. So for my new tracker I really didn't know what to do. The theme is rainbows so I just thought well 
rainbows are rainbow themed so I made these three ginormous rainbows and each line in the rainbow is one day of the month and I'll be using the colors of the rainbow as my colors to fill in as well. I thought it'd be kind of cool if the header for the habit tracker is kind of the cloud that's making the rainbow so I added some rain and a sun and it kind of looks like a children's coloring book but it's, it's charming, it's okay. Onto my brain dump and one line a day page. I spelt brain with an M because I'm just that talented, but that was easily fixed. I wanted to keep these two pages kind of simple, but at the same time not. So I added a black border to both of the pages and then I went in with my tumble brush pens and added those big sparkle glitter doodles all over the place outside the borders. After adding the numbers of the days to my one line a day page, I went in with my water pencil again and watered out the bigger sparkles to keep it kind of cohesive with the other spreads. Onto my first weekly spread, I didn't really know what to do here either, so I made one black blob for each day of the week and then I watered it out and then my plan was to write the numbers of the days in white but you'll see later that didn't really work out and for the next week I am making these watercolor headers and because I just improvised the placement of them it got a little wonky but you know what? Rainbows aren't perfect either, so it's okay. School's starting this month for most of us, I think. So I think this rainbow theme will kind of keep the summer spirit, even though school's starting. It was really empty, so I added this really cheesy quote you've all heard can't make a rainbow without a little rain. I never really liked this quote very much actually because I love rain and it's not something that I like. I look forward to rain so. <laughs> Anyhow I added another little quote thingy on the other side. Be proud of who you are and I think it turned out great. So here you have it, the final clip through of the month of August. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!